This is Eternal Blade. Welcome to part 19 of the Bath tutorial. Uh, we were working on the hinges, so let's uh, continue those. So make a box and just drag it up. Go in the left hand viewport and press F3. And then convert the box to an editable poly. Set the top verts after lining the bottom ones here. And align them right to about here. Select the uh, interior lines and connect it once. What this does is it gives us a uh, line so that we can place our third and final hinge. So bring it down and just place it in the middle. Instance. Okay. Next, you're just going to want to uh, delete the box. Go back into perspective and select. Oops. All of the uh, hinges. Make sure it's the only thing you select. Copy them over and then mirror them on the x axis. Okay, go to the top viewport and position them. Actually, we have a, an extra piece there, so just deselect that. And let's see about where they are. So we're going to need to reposition uh, the other door. Um, let's see what we want to do here. Perspective, F3. Um, do we need to reposition this door? Yes, we do. So select the door and all of its components, which pretty much are include the hinges the um, handles and just shift it up a bit. Let's see. So right to about the edge of the uh, molding, I guess. Yep. Actually let's just back it up just a bit. Okay. And then we can select the uh, hinges again. And they are. Alright. So now we have hinges on our doors, and let's just do a quick rendering of those. Alright, so I was just recording, or I was just talking while it wasn't recording, so I'm not quite sure where I left off, but I think it was with the rendering. But what we're going to do is um, select this door over here, link. Drag one handle with the other one, and like so. And then we're going to select the door, effect pivot only. We're going to align. We're going to align it to this hinge right here. X, Y, and Z pivot point to pivot point. Um, effect pivot point only. And then when you open the door, it'll uh, open like that. And uh, do the exact same thing to the other door, but I just did it, so I'm not going to do it again. Um, let's see. After that, we're going to work on the second light, which is over here. So browse um, in your pictures that you download from the photo bucket page and get this one. Just remember, Alt B, Files, and pick it, and then press OK. Match bitmap, lock, zoom, and pan. So let's maximize this viewport, Alt W. Select everything, then hide selection. Next, make a cylinder, approximately the size of that. Give it a few more sides, call it 40. Uh, convert it to an editable poly, and uh, select the interior polygon here. And let's inset it about that much. Okay. Next, go into the four view mode. Z and actually, before we go any further, let's um, select this, 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 this loop backspace. We don't need those. And then maximize this top viewport here, and just 
see if we can't select them all. Alright, we'll select the remaining ones. Alright, then backspace those as well. that kind of has like a bulge so we're going to use bevels for that so actually bevel and just bring it out ever so slightly bring about a quarter of the way half bring it down a bit again Set it again. Okay, and let's see what this is. I think that's it just going back. So, let's look this polygon back here and delete it. Bevel this, just bring it back, and then in. just a bit. About 1.4 if you're following the picture. Although, it's not going to be the same because um, the photo bucket scales down these things a bit. And after this, let's apply a smooth modifier. Smooth. Auto smooth. And let's see what we have. That's looking pretty nice. This might need a bit of work. So let's go here, select this top thing, loop, chamfer, and just chamfer it three times. There we go. Now we have that edge just looking pretty nice. And we're good to go with this light. The actual light bulb, um, I guess we can make that too while we're here. Start with a cylinder using auto grid. Kind of place it right in there. Then a line. Um, X, Y, and Z, I guess. Bring it back just so it's touching. Segments down the height segments down and bring the height down as well and you can increase the radius a bit to about there convert that to an editable poly and let's go bevel and make a light bulb shape out of it so start bringing it out first and it comes just inside the edge like that and then starts um, moving in a bit, I guess. 